It's long, it's long. Well, you know, cause see, it's a section for the large birds of prey. Mm -hmm. That's not the section. I don't know if I got the verse on you. You can pull it out if you want. It's, it's just a side note, whatever. Yeah. But Wait. Wait. They don't really, like birds of prey, we're talking about hawks. Yeah. We're talking about eagles. Duck is not one of those. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it, yeah, but you know, again, but fishing fish too. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But again, it's not class, it's not in the classification as birds of prey within the within the Torah. As as well as um, the, the phylums and all that. It's not within that category or that class. And that, a duck's not gonna eat a marsupial, it's not gonna, you know what I'm saying? It's only gonna eat like fish. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, it's long. It's long. It's long. Alright, so we're gonna make I'm gonna make a quick distinction and then we're gonna go straight into yeah, if you could, if you could tap into the birds of prey. Yeah, that's what I'm talking Okay, get that. Yeah. It's long. All right. So as we know, birds of prey could not be consumed by Hebrew Muslims due to the law of the priests. Now, listen. And these. You gotta are, give the verse. You gotta give the verse. Oh, it's long. Part of so. This is the book of Leviticus, mm -hmm. chapter eleven. Yep. Now we're specifically on birds of prey. This is verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. Temple 13, lock that in. <laughs> and these are they which ye shall have in abomination. Mm -hmm. I mean, hated by God for those who may not know. Among the fowls, birds, they shall not be eaten. They are abomination. Abomination used twice. The eagle and the ospreage and the osprey and the vulture and the kite after this kind. So they're all in the same following, the same animal kingdom. Every raven after his kind, and owl, and night hawk, and chuko, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the cormorant, and the great owl. Mm -hmm. Now, we need to focus on section 18, because these are all birds of prey, but now you're starting to see birds that you wouldn't consider a bird of prey, but it's still within long this distinction, as the Sheikh said. It's long? It's long. So pay attention. Verse 18. And the swan, mm -hmm. the pelican, mm -hmm. and the gear eagle, and the stork, and the heron, after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat. Islam? Islam. Right. 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 So let me just take real quick. So when you look at the swan and the pelican, if you look those birds up, you'll find out that the duck is within that same file. Right, right, right. You're, okay? So. Uh, but so the point of that that that, that, that tangent sure. was that even as sheets we understand that we don't know everything. It's not. And that our strength is through our unity. And again, we trust in the prophet. You see it's what I'm saying? Not. And we congregate. And so when we convey information to y'all, understand that that information has been vetted. We don't just, oh, you know, Grand Sheik said it's this, so that's what it is. Yeah. We don't operate like that. This is not that nope. forward. That's right. You see what I'm saying? But we all, it's like when you go to college, you'll have a general education. Everybody got to know the gen ed. You can't graduate without it. But then you have a specialized education, which you call your major. See, Sadiq's major may be uh, uh, Hebrew culture, the Torah, the language, right? Uh, uh, history, you know, uh, history in the Americas, uh, uh, you know, uh, biblical history. He has, he has a, 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 a broad major, you know what I'm saying? Sheikh Muhammad has his own area. I have my own area, the Grand Sheikh has it. But we all have general education to the extent that we can touch on it. You see what I'm saying? Like, a person may be an English teacher, but he knows how to ask, subtract, multiply, divide, understand the order of operations, right. certain basic information. That's right. And this is what we call upon our members to give. We don't expect y'all to, you know, know the Torah front to back. Wow. But it's certain basic information, certain things that we teach that's distinct among our group that we expect. You understand? Wow. So, so I just want that to be clear that, you know, where our understanding derives from and how, what qualifies us to impart and teach our culture in, in the knowledge that we teach. But going back to the demonstration. So, see with the government, FBI, and various different media outlets, they confuse between the extreme the extremist militias mm. and the sovereign citizens. Mm. And some of the philosophy overlaps. 
So how could you as an Asiatic Muslim strongly adopt sovereign citizen beliefs and views when many of them are European nationalist extremists? No. Belonging to these different militia groups. No. Go ahead. How you following them? Islam. But you won't follow the prophet that looks like you. Islam. Go ahead. Islam. <laughs> Islam. Some of the groups they like that that are involved with the European sovereign citizens, they paramilitary trained. Mm. Right? And they're anti-government. Mm. Now, quick trivia question. Is the problem of Abu Ali? Is the Moorish Times of America anti-government? No. Not in the slightest. You won't find one agitating, radical, negative view proposed by the Prophet Nobu Ali in the literature against the United States of America. That's right. It's a foolish thing to do. Yes, huh? It's a foolish thing to do. Like you living within a nation of people. Forget the fact that this is our ancestral homeland. Yes, huh? What, rules of war don't matter no more? <laughs> Defeated people get to get to make to make decisions and, and, and call and say what's what? Nope. Again, the Prophet Noble Juali, his goal was not to place us above the European. That was not his mission. His mission was to uplift fallen humanity. That was his mission. It was not to destroy the European nations. It was not to uh, destroy anything to cause harm to any group of people, but to uplift us. That's right. And again, the blood has already been shed. How right. much, you got thousands of years of blood. That's right. How much more blood you need to be shed? You had a civil war. Right. Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people, your ancestors, we done fought and died for our freedom already. That's These right. laws are already on the books. You want to shed your blood right now in 2020? Your son's blood? The children that he would have not being born, or she she would have? It's not. It's not working. After your ancestors have died over and over and over and over again, you feel it necessary to die? The prophet gave the remedy. He gave us what we need to live. That's right. Not just be alive, but to live. It's not. Go ahead and teach it. This is an everlasting movement, boys. And you're not going to have no longevity. I mean, all the war, son, too. <laughs> you going to go at an enemy that has a superior tactical advantage? Nope. On their level? How are you going to go against the European with guns and, uh, guns and stuff? That's right. He got drones now. That's fine. What you going to do with your little AK? <laughs> huh? Where you going to hide at? He got radar technology that can look through the Earth's surface. Where you going to hide? Huh, where you going to stash your weapons at? Where are you gonna get the plutonium to make nuclear weapons? Huh? No. Even if you get your hands on an RPG, what you gonna do with it? You see what I'm saying? Our people are crazy. They crazy. That's wrong, man. Need the prophet's teaching, wake them up. Our people are sick, man, and we medicine men. That's why we got these lab coats on. Uh, uh, this ought right here, this is the remedy. This is the remedy here, boys. So according to the Southern Poverty Law Center, right, in the 1980s, or oh, Southern Poverty Law Center? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, the European Jews, they, they, they have that, that particular um, platform to call out discrimination. <laughs> it's mainly for anti-Semitism, obviously, but they, you know, they'll utilize it for other groups and purposes. 